So thank you for tuning in to this Take and Make craft today. Today we are making candy corn button art. And some of the materials you're going to need are um, acrylic paint. So we have white, yellow, and orange. Mod Podge. You are going to need a picture frame. Buttons in the same color of orange, yellow, and white. You can use um, cane brushes and a piece of burlap as well. So what we are going to do, you're gonna start by taking the back off of the picture frame and you are going to glue or mod podge the burlap to the back of the picture frame. So we're gonna do that now. stretch this out. And then I'm going to wait for this to dry and then cut around edges to cut the excess burlap pieces off of the frame. So while it's drying, you can also Draw, once it's dry, a picture of the candy corn onto the burlap, or you can print out a picture of a candy corn um, and then trace this onto the burlap so that you have a picture of the candy corn on there. So I printed out a picture because I'm not really good at drawing on my own. So I'm just gonna cut out this shape. And you can find this image online. And you can get that piece of burlap from any like material or supply store. Okay. So I'm just going to put this down in the center and then I have a Sharpie that I'm going to use to trace the candy corn image. So I just have that placed in the center. And I'm gonna go ahead and trace this. Well, that's coming out really nice. right now I do have my candy corn image so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of mark off where I'm going to do the lines for the candy corn So this is white, this is orange, and this is yellow. And so on average for the white, you need about 30 buttons. For the orange, you need about 50. And then for the yellow, you need about 60 buttons. 
And what you want to do is you want to lay down the big buttons first and then put the smaller buttons around it. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the insides of these first with color to fill it in. So I'm going to start off with my orange first. And this is where the brushes come in handy. Next, my orange. Go ahead and fill in this yellow. Finally, you're going to use the white paint. So now we have our candy corn already painted. So you're just gonna wait for that paint to dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that extra claw. So we've trimmed the extra border. Once this is dry, we're gonna glue our buttons on. And I have this little extra. Everything dry. Our paint is 
somewhat dry. We are going to go ahead and glue on some buttons. And if you have bigger buttons, you want those to go down first. Remember for the yellow, um, depending on the size of the buttons, it's generally about 60 to cover the space. And with the orange, you're going to do roughly about 50 of them, depending on the size. Get some really cool buttons there. And then for the light, we're going to use... about 30 buttons. So once you've filled in um, all of your buttons in each respective color, you're going to have something that looks like this at the end, um, where everything is in its spot, all the colors are filled in so you can't see any of the paint anymore, um, and you'll have your candy corner picture frame. So. Happy crafting and we'll see you again next time.